Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We will be painting this cyberpunk style Japanese street view today. This is a painting of Omoide Yokocho in Shinjuku in Tokyo, also known as Memory Lane or nickname Peace Alley. It's a landmark alleyway featuring a selection of counter surf stores for simple food and drinks. I used one of the photography works from Lian Wang as reference for this painting. Lian Wang is a Scottish photographer and game designer. He is known for his cyberpunk sci-fi style of photography. I will put his info down in the description box. Make sure you check his webpage and Instagram page for his amazing works. Lian Wang published a book called Tokyo with a series of his photography shoot in Tokyo and produced in a cyberpunk style. The painting I'm drawing is based on one of his photography works from his book. The main feature of cyberpunk style is low brightness, overall super dark, while with, a, while with a small area of high saturation and high brightness color, mainly purple, blue, hot pink, sometimes high saturated red or green. All of these help to bring a strong and powerful visual effect. I compared several photography works from Lian Wang's book with the actual Google Street View in Japan. They are completely two different words. In another word, Lian Wang uses his unique color palette turning reality into another word. is draw on a A3 size 300 dpi canvas. I roughly spent 24 hours painting it, around 2 weeks, so that's about 2 hours a day. Since I was not in a rush, so I spent lots of time doing super zoom in to draw up details almost to a pixel level. I feel it's quite satisfying and addictive watching these kind of time-lapse videos because it's very fast and you almost feel it's a magic that all of a sudden a painting is done. However, I also feel it's a bit contradictory to the painting process itself. Because the reason I do painting is that it's quite relaxing and it helps me to slow down and kind of be isolated from the faster speed world a bit. You can take your time to observe one object, one detail, and try to understand its structure, the surrounded lighting, the reflection, and try to figure out how to express that in your canvas. Imagine if the real process is same as time-lapse video. It's cool, but also quite stressful. You can leave your comments below. Let me know if you prefer time-lapse painting videos or real-time step-by-step painting videos. So for next one, I'm planning to paint a character from the movie Ghost in the Shell, Geisha Robot, the Japanese entertainer dressed in traditional Japanese dress, kimono, at the beginning of the movie. If you are interested, remember to subscribe and stay tuned. So I will shut up here and let's enjoy the rest of the painting process. <laughs> 